being healthy is what every human being wants. Many countries have been trying to develop their public health systems to make their people healthy according to the conditions and needs of such countries. For Thailand, the development of public health, including health care systems, had been undertaken continuously for a long time until it reached the important turning point that was the launch of the Universal Coverage of Healthcare, or UC Scheme. The purpose of the UC Scheme is to ensure that all the Thai people will have access to essential health services with good quality in the thorough and equitable manner. In addition, the UC Scheme has been found to be able to decrease the health spending of the households and the people so that they will not be impoverished due to catastrophic medical expenses when ill, according to the intent of the National Health Security Health Act of 2002. One of the advancements of Thailand's universal coverage of healthcare, or UC scheme, is the expansion of the benefit packages to cover the people's high cost medical expenses. Whereas in the past, some people could not have access to such services. At present, statistics have shown that heart disease has been the leading health threat among the Thai people. Despite therapeutic advances for the disease, its medical care cost remains high. Here is the Chest Disease Institute of the Department of Medical Services, Ministry of Public Health, which provides medical care for the patients referred to this institute or hospital under the UC scheme. The picture we are seeing is the surgery for enlarging coronary arteries being performed by Dr. Kriyankai Heng Rasami, a heart surgery expert. Myocardial infarction is the most prevalent illness among all 30,000 to 40,000 cases of heart disease each year. Dr. Kriyankrai said, Thailand is luckier than other countries as we have had networks all over the country. In the past, we had no common agreements, so only some patients could be accepted, but some were not. At present, we have got an agreement. 100% of such patients are accepted using the same clinical practice guidelines with a fast track for patients with myocardial infarction as well as the same treatment and referral criteria for both incoming and outgoing referrals. So a lot of patients can be treated with a timely referral. At present, the Chest Disease Institute has established a network for the treatment of patients with ST elevation myocardial infarction STEMI, covering eight provinces in the designated area of the National Health Security Office, Region 4. At the Institute, the Referral and Counseling Center has been established and the guidelines and system have been set up for providing fast-track services for such patients. The system can decrease a lot of fatalities or complications that might occur and increase the patient's quality of life. Uncle Som Wang is one of the patients who have undergone such a surgery with the medical expenses under the UC scheme. Uncle Som Wang said he had never known how heart disease was. He had the symptoms when he was moving some plants during the flood. That was a hard work. He was taken to the Chest Disease Institute and later realized that he was eligible under the UC or gold card scheme. He said if he had not been eligible, he would have been in trouble. His entire garden was flooded and the scheme is a lot helpful.
And moreover, mitral valve repair is another option that the Chest Disease Hospital has expertise in and can provide such care to the general public, including eligible persons under the UC scheme. Dr. Tawisak, an expert in mitral valve repair, said, the mitral valve repair that we perform can help the patient to avoid a surgery for cardiac valve replacement. After the surgery, the patient can recover faster without using any thrombolytic drug, which helps decrease complications a great deal and cuts other costs that may arise related to the treatment. According to my experience, a female patient who has undergone the surgery can have a baby. To date, the mitral valve repair technique has been transferred to other Thai and foreign surgeons. Many provincial hospitals in the network can now perform such a surgery, resulting in the people's better access to such service. Dr. Sukum, Director, Chest Disease Institute. Treatment of heart disease requires costly high technologies. Before the UC scheme was launched, the government budget only was available and the patient's care had to be partially financed with welfare funds. And the problem encountered was the fact that the patients had to be treated, but they could not afford the medical expenses so they missed the opportunity to have access to medical care. Now, under the UC scheme, the hospital does not need to worry about the patient's medical expenses, so the hospital is comfortable about rationally choosing the treatment methods and the patients can receive the services thoroughly. After such services have been provided, currently there are many people with volunteer spirit helping the hospital to give moral support to the patients before and after the surgery. That has helped the patients to become less worrisome and know how to take good care of themselves. And not so far from this place is Ramad Tibudi Hospital, which also has some good stories. For more than three years, the daughter of this man has had a kidney transplant with the kidney donated by the father under the care of the kidney transplant project of Ramad Tibudi Hospital, with the expenses covered by the UC scheme. Today, the patient comes together with her father to the hospital every two months to receive a regular follow-up medical care and additional medications. Ramatibudi Hospital is actually a medical school of Mahidon University, providing teaching for medical students as well as medical and health services. One such service is continuous renal replacement therapy for patients with chronic kidney failure. End-stage renal disease is one of the problems in the Thai public health system. Each year, there are a lot of patients with such disease coming in for treatment. Professor Dr. Sopon, kidney transplantation is the best treatment method for the patients with end-stage renal disease. There are about 30,000 to 50,000 cases of the illness in Thailand. Without treatment, they will die within a few months. At present, such patients are still alive with hemodialysis, peritoneal dialysis, or kidney transplantation. The first two methods, hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis 
are supportive treatment to keep the patient alive with a very high cost of medical expenses. The patient's quality of life is not like that for normal people, as there are a lot of limitations. Today, it has been accepted in the world, including Thailand, that kidney transplantation is the best, despite its high cost, in the long run, compared with the other two methods. It is better and more economical. For the patient who wants to get a kidney transplant, this is the starting point. The Coordinating Center for the Organ Transplant Project. Coordinating with all relevant agencies in examining the health insurance eligibility, identifying the donor, and coordinating the medical team, and administratively facilitating the surgical procedure. The center also helps minimize the redundancy and gets the patient to the surgical process faster and ensures good care according to the established of surgical and post-surgical standards. Pai Lin on Si Tong, the kidney transplant recipient said, it is very useful. If there is no money, the patient cannot survive. This project has saved many lives. While her father said, if it had not been for this project, we would have been in trouble as we are not a well-off family. We would have to find the money for treatment for the whole life. To date, the project has performed kidney transplantation for more than 1,751 cases, of which more than 30 to 40 percent cases are covered by the UC scheme. As a result, the kidney transplant recipients can go back home and live a normal life. Besides kidney transplantation, another disease with high cost medical expenses is hemophilia and its treatment cost is covered by the UC scheme. Today is another day that the parents take their children with hemophilia to get follow-up treatment and medications. The patient with hemophilia has an impaired ability to control bleeding. Professor Dr. Ampai Wan, an expert in hemophilia, said that the disease is a congenital disorder normally with symptomatic illness in males, while females will be carriers transmitting the disease to their children. In Thailand, the prevalence is about 1 in 13,000 to 20,000 population. The treatment can be done by giving blood transfusion, fresh plasma, or concentrated clotting factor. Presently, Ramatipati Hospital has got a project to give counseling and knowledge to the patients and their relatives so that they can take the clotting factor for use at home. Mrs. Latdawan, mother of a hemophilia patient. In the past, as the medical expenses were very high, it was rather hard for the family to bear the entire burden. Later on, when Dr. Sung Woon, the former Secretary General of the National Health Security Office, as well as Dr. Ampai Wan and Dr. Patra Pon, succeeded in getting the disease under the coverage of the UC scheme, my son was registered to get medication at Rama Tipidi Hospital. We are thankful for the project, which is very good. Even though the medication we receive is insufficient, we can help ourselves with the shortfall. At present, we have formed a club and a network of hemophilia patients and relatives aiming to educate other parents about the care and give moral support to live a better life. In addition to playing a role as a tertiary care and teaching hospital, based on the experience in treating the patients referred from other hospitals under the universal healthcare scheme, the financial supported provided is inadequate. So we have to seek additional funding from other sources of the hospital to cover all the expenses. There has been an effort of the National Health Security Office to try to give us some more money for such cases. 
Anyway, all are regarded as a joint learning process, and Rama Tibbati Hospital will continue to maintain the good quality of care. When the people can have access to health benefit packages with an efficient management system that covers diseases with high cost medical expenses, as indicated in the case studies mentioned above, the impoverishment from catastrophic health spending can be reduced. Such a system can also result in a better quality of life of the service recipients under the health security system.